How to easily defeat the Elder Armor Worm. Uh, you want to be very, very fast with it. Because uh, it's slightly demented. Use the spirit. <clears throat> Pluck of many to call your baby clones, but get far away. You can also transform to give her a better fire. Use triangle all the time. So if this is the boss, you want to be very aggressive with it. So for some reason, the clones didn't show up. I don't know why. So she's going to poison you. She or he or it. I don't care. Give them full combos one after another. Only Christ. Remember to fully charge. You can walk around. It's not going to do shit to you. Give them a goddamn strike. You can also parry her face, by the way. See, get my man like there's no tomorrow. Very easy fight. It gives you proto armor one, which is a key item that you need. I'm not going to tell you for what's not spoil your fun. Level almost 60. Uh, almost 61, sorry. Mm, we're looking at the Grey Wolf Mask, Golden Embroidered Shirt, Ochre Arm Guard, Serpent Scale Gaiters. We got the Back Scratcher for more stamina. We got the Tridagna Pendant for the spell cooldown. This one doesn't matter. It's for leveling up. We got the Wandering Whites level 4. And we got the Kangjin stuff, which let me tell you, it's uh, starting to be a bit weak for chapter 4. So I highly recommend you upgrade that weapon. In terms of Sparks, we have... Uh, hmm, wait a sec. We have... Um, Stamina and Martial Arts, we have over here for the focus points and the smash stance, extra damage and stuff. 11 points to the mobilizing spell because it's the most important to be frankly honest and uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much guys for watching, like the video if you like it, subscribe if you didn't and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.